Hello. This is, uh, Fire Emblem 7. Also called Blazing Sword, I think, is the, uh, is the prefix, suffix. Okay, let's not waste any time. This is a pretty good game. It's the first, um, first Fire Emblem released in America, actually. Sort of thing you just kind of pick up. And, uh, well, they did. They, being Intelligent Systems, the guys who developed this game, uh, they did everything they could to make sure that this game is, uh, easily pick upable <laughs> by, by us silly Westerners. And, uh, they put in a pretty extensive tutorial called Lens Mode. If you don't know, this game is, um, it's run in several stories, or modes, whatever you want to call it. The first half of the game, or more like the first third, is called Lin's Story. It's like a tutorial for us first-time Fire Emblem players. The second two-thirds of the game is Elowood's Story. And, uh, of course, if you've played the game enough to beat Elowood's Story, you also unlock Hector's Story as well as normal and hard modes for each of those, um, each of those games. I, I <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I, I hate the tutorial in this game. It really holds your hand all the hell, and it's just, it's just unpleasant, really. So, what I'm gonna be doing is starting a new game on Lin hard modes to skip all of the tutorial crap. It'll still be a tutorial. We'll still get all the benefits from playing Lin's mode. All the characters that carry over from Lin's mode to Elwood will still have their stats, but uh, we won't have to sit through a bunch of nonsense as the game kind of leads us along. I'll try to explain everything maybe better than the game. Probably not. I'll probably miss a lot of stuff. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get started. Oh, as you can see here, we've got the uh, prologue to chapter 10 here, this Lin's story. Over here we've got Hector, who is the optional second second story. He goes from chapter 11 to the final chapter. He actually has a couple, um, couple new chapters on his story. Chances are we'll be playing Elowood's story first, but, uh, you know, I, I prefer Hector mode. It's just more fun. I might actually play Hector mode because there's just more content. And over here we have Elwood, who actually has less less chapters. It's a bit easier than Hector mode, and it's a bit more uh, centric to the plot of the game. Hector's story is a little bit of a tangent. It doesn't make it any worse. Hector's a much better character, much better fighter, just better overall. Fuck Elwood, he sucks. Anyway, on to Lin. Let's go. I am deleting my last, uh, my other chapter data. I don't know what it is, I don't really care. You can only have one quick save at a time, so I just overrode my old quick save. Here you get to in enter some of your information. Uh, interesting about this, if you, everybody has a birth sign, that's that little shiny thing next to the name Mark there, um, your birth sign is dependent on what month you were born in. And this is like your your tactician information, is what they call it. If your tactician has a certain affinity that matches the affinity of some of your 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 units, they those units will actually get a bonus in combat. So if you're the kind of person that really min-max your way through the game, you might want to use your birth sign to get better uh, better lead on things. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna be me. And there we go. Yes. As you can probably tell, the text goes really slow. Uh, that's going to be changed very quickly. If 
Fuck this. Yeah, I know, it's not exactly a Mark, but hey, whatever. It's better than Lin. Who the fuck names their kid Lin? Yeah, that's right. I'm actually in my pajamas, but yeah, Traveler works. Oh shit! Yeah, they must have. Clearly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just a two-on-one, and you're just like a fucking frail-ass lady or some sick dude sitting in your house. I'm sure you can't, you can totally take two 300-pound beefcakes. But yeah, sure, you know, we'll do it anyway. No, fuck that, I wanna watch. Fuck yeah. No, wait, what? No, I ain't using the weapon, fuck that. Does a binoculars count? Does a camera count? Does a laptop count? Yeah, strategist. That's what I meant. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I didn't sign up for this shit. Yeah, I can do that. As long as I don't have to fight. Fuck that, my guy doesn't even have a weapon. I don't even have armor. Look at me, I'm green. I'm not even on her side. Okay, here we are. We control Lin. Just Lin, nobody else. All we have is Lin. If we press this, the L button, or on my keyboard here, A, it goes to our next available unit. We press R, you can see her stats. There's a bunch of shit here. Uh, I don't know. I probably won't be going too much into stats unless it becomes really important at some point. But, uh, all these are pretty pretty cool. Lynn kind of sucks early on, so hopefully she won't die too much. Uh, <laughs> what about Lynn? Oh yeah, she's got a couple of vulnerabilities, or healing sacks. I guess they're, uh, potions or something? I, I really don't know. She does shit all damage, so <laughs> this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be good. She's got crazy avoid, though. 43% chance to avoid. Most enemies have pretty bad stats, especially in the uh, hit department, so we'll probably be dodging a lot. Or at least I hope we're gonna dodge a lot, because uh, we got two defense and no magical resistance, so if we get hit, we're fucking screwed. She's not very good at anything right now, because she's, you know, level one, so. We're gonna take care of old Lin here and uh, beat up some bandits. Now, if we were playing the tutorial, it would be kind of holding our hand through all this and making us go to one specific spot and making us use our items in a specific way and tank hits unnecessarily. I'm not going to be doing that. Instead, what I'm going to do is pop open the options here and kind of adjust things how I want them. Normally, the game moves pretty slow. The text moves pretty slow. I ain't having that. I'm going to keep all this normal, except for that. I don't like that. And, uh... Yeah, that'll do. Just change the text and game speed. Keep the animations on, because, hey, they're cool. May as well, right? The art in this game is pretty fantastic, I have to say. I'm, I'm really impressed with the art in this game. I know it's just sprites, you know, it's, oh, it's just 2D. It's just 2D wave. It's not that impressive. It looks cool. Sorry. <laughs> now, let's see. We've got... One, two, three, four, five movement squares, and thankfully, so do these guys, so it makes it pretty easy to tell where they're gonna move. This guy can, at most, move right here. That's not quite enough. So what we're gonna do is, instead of running at him blindly, what we are going to do is give him a little space. Now let's see. In this game, uh, 
you can only attack once per per attack phase. Typically. Typically. If you can attack twice in an attack phase, then uh, you know, that's that's better, right? Lin is really fast, so she generally gets to attack twice. The problem is, if you hit first, you hit and then they hit, and then if you get a second attack, you get your second hit. However, if they attack first, and you get to hit twice, then they hit, and then you get two hits for free. So, uh, you know, logistically speaking, it's most efficient to let them hit you first, then you get two hits, and then you hit in, you, you get in for a third hit before they can even react twice. That's the most efficient way to fight. I'm gonna try to do that, because hard mode is actually a little brutal. It's, uh, it's not, it's not pleasant. So let's just do that. This is right where we need to be for this guy to get to us in two turns. So we're just gonna hang out here because he can't reach us this turn. One of the nice parts, shut up Lin. One of the nice parts about Fire Emblem is we can see how a battle's gonna go before we actually do it, more or less. Um, obviously hits are, well here, let me just show you. We're gonna go over here. We can use an item, but we don't need to right now. We can also wait, but that would be kinda silly. Let's just attack first and see what we can do. All we have is the Iron Sword, so we're going to be using that, obviously. Let's look at the stats. This is actually pretty good. Oh wow, I didn't realize I had that. <clears throat> okay, so Lin has 16 HP, the bad guy's 20. A little outweighed in, our, in uh, the enemy's favor there. But we hit twice for 7 damage, while he only hits once for 10. We also have a 100% chance to hit, and he has only a 39. Uh, we can critical, he can't. Critical very rarely comes into play early on, but when it does, it's cool. Uh, in addition, ah uh, yeah, the arrows on the weapons. Fire Emblem has kind of a weapon triangle thing going on. Swords beat axes, axes beat lances, and lances beat swords. Thankfully, most of the enemies early on have axes, and we have a sword, so it'll be pretty easy to get some good fights. You get a little bit of a combat advantage. You get more chance to hit and more damage, whereas the person at the disadvantage gets less damage and less chance to hit. Uh, we're actually going to, I think, just stand next to this guy. We're not going to fight at all. We're just going to chill here and wait for him to get the first hit and leave himself open to attack. Just as expected. Look at that, two free hits in. And then next turn, because we're definitely going to hit him. We can finish him off. Without even taking a second hit. Now if we were doing the tutorial, that would actually have gone worse. In the tutorial, you do automatically get hit once. Yeah, and, you know... You kill them, of course, because it's the tutorial and it's holding your hand, but you do get hit. It, uh, the tutorial fixes the numbers so that things happen specifically in a certain way. During the tutorial, it also <laughs> kind of has you run at this guy up here. <laughs> you just fucking run at him and, like, leave yourself completely open to just get murdered. But, you know, it fixes the numbers so that you don't die and then you also critical him. It's very silly. Uh, I don't know why they why they did that. I mean, I know why they did that to not, you know, bully around the the silly westerners too much. But it's really a horrible way to play the game. Let's just see what the uh, what, what what things are looking like. Not looking good. Not looking good. If he hits us, if we were to attack right now, we would barely chip away at him. Not even half health the guy. And if he were to hit us twice, we'd be dead. We would be straight dead. So what we want to do is just stand next to him. We're going to let him get the first hit and leave himself open to a counterattack. Ah, he missed. Great. We can't actually kill him in one round, so we're just going to do the same thing again. Chill here and let him leave himself open to a counterattack. He heals a little bit because he's on a throne, but it's not enough to matter. Ah, he missed again. Great.
And now we can go in for the finishing blow without even getting a hit. Easy. Yeah, we leveled up too. That was a pretty good level up. We got strength, which is very important for Lin. She's naturally very fast, so having strength means she can deal out a lot of damage very quickly. So now, it says C's gate up there in the top right. That's our objective. We just killed the guy on the gate, so we're gonna go seize it. Yeah, it was all me. Been awake, lady. <laughs> yeah, took a took a whole lot out of me. <laughs> too much, too damn much. Awkward. <laughs> nice going, me. Bringing shit up. Fuck. My character's a dick. I went from 0 to 100 way too fucking fast. Holy shit. You know, it wasn't until playing this game again for the first time in a, in a couple of months that, um... Jesus, man. This is fucking heavy. Like some kid gonna turn on, you know, you buy some, some game from the store, it looks pretty cool, it's called Fire Emblem. Take it home, you're gonna play it, and then you get this shit. Holy fuck. At least the art's cool. Yay. Yep, we're gonna go together. She will be with us for a while. She's very clingy. And she disappears for a couple of little chapters and then, uh, something. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it. Not gonna spoil it. You guys will see. Yeah, she's so enthusiastic for being horribly depressed a couple minutes ago. Anyway, that's going to do it for this uh, video. Chapter? Yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys later, probably. Bye-bye.